All right, so it's been two weeks since the National Triathlon Championships, and we're also a week away from the PTO Asian Open Duathlon. So that was my first National Champs, and I think building up to the race itself, I was, I trained pretty hard, especially towards the end of the training block. I was doing one or two sessions, sometimes three sessions a day, every day of the week. Um, and I think the results really showed through. I came second place overall, which is, uh, I was pretty happy about. And uh, looking at the splits for the swim, I came 10:13, which was almost a minute, a whole minute faster than last time. Uh, for the T1, T2, it was really smooth. I think I worked pretty hard on the transition itself, so I'm glad that nothing messed up and everything went well. So for T1, it was a minute 21. For T2, it was 46 seconds. So that was pretty good. Uh, in terms of the bike, I think that was my worst discipline of the three. Uh, and definitely something I need to work on in the future uh, especially on the short sprints coming out of corners I think that's something that I lack uh, those pure power so yeah I think that's just something that I should know and work on for the future uh, and for the run 1837 for the 5k split but the distance itself was actually a bit longer than 5k so uh, when I calculated using my average speed my 5k split was uh, 17 15 which is i guess not bad as well so yeah um that's a short sort of recap of the national champs um i think after the national champs i had a pretty bad burnout because of uh, all the trainings and obviously all the prep uh mentally and also physically that went into uh this race so uh you know i had a proper one week taper um and really dialed in on my uh, so-called diet, sleep, rest, uh, training, and everything else surrounding the race. Um, so I think after the race for the past one or two weeks, I've been having a pretty bad burnout, especially in training. Training has been as going as well as uh, I would like, um, but that's okay. I think the point is that uh, it's pretty hard to just hammer in those hard workouts day in, day out, all year long. So I think, uh, you know, I had, a week or two of break so I think uh, it's about time to get back into the schedule of things and you know sleeping early getting my training in doing the proper uh, amount uh, sorry getting the proper amount of volume and intensity in per week as well as uh, getting enough rest eating healthy all that stuff so I think with that said um, in terms of the PTO Asian Open duathlon I don't think I'm gonna try as hard as the national champs. It's not my A race. Um, I think I'll take one or two days to taper for it, but that's about it. Um, and the whole point, the whole sort of goal right now is to build up and peak for the Singapore Uni Games as well as the SMU Aquathlon in September. So yeah, uh, that's a short summary of everything that's been going on in life right now. Uh, with that said, I think I'm gonna go sleep early today. Like I said, I need to get back into my schedule. So tomorrow's gonna be another tough day. Uh, double session in the morning. It's gonna be a speed workout on the track. Uh, in the afternoon, it's gonna be an endurance swim workout. All right, so it's 7.30 in the morning and I'll be flashing the workout on the screen right now. But the main set today is 8x800 at 5K target race pace, which is around 315 to 317. So eight of that, the total mileage will be around 10K and total time taken will be around an hour or so. So let's get this, it's getting very hot. <laughs>
Okay, so in total that was one hour, 12K in total. Um, I think as athletes we have good days and bad days and today was definitely not my good day. But I think that's okay. The whole point of this video is that uh, if you want to run fast, swim fast, bike fast all year long, then it's important to not skip those hard speed workouts or else this is what happens. Okay, so just finished the swim and the swim I think felt better than the run which is always a good sign so I think that's about it for today's video uh, lectures are gonna start next week and I'm kind of still stuck in ORD mood so I'll see you in the next video see ya